so today we have to study about flowers okay so flowers are the reproductive parts of the plant so in case of angiospermic plants which is the flowering plant and in such flowering plant the reproductive part is the flower okay so in this chapter we have to study about the flower what is a flower flower is the modified specialized and condensed shoot what do you mean by modified over here modified it means it is structurally advanced as well as functionally advanced so in flower the leaves are modified into floral structures it means the leaves are having a specialized structure and a specialized function okay and all the parts or all the walls of the flower is in the form of condensed shoot you can say it as condensed shoot okay so flower is the modified specialized and condensed shoot because leaf it is a part of shoot system it is found in the shoot system so that is why flower is the modified specialized and condensed shoot where the leaves are modified into floral structures okay so these two are the key points for the definition of flower here is the diagrammatic sketch of the flower this part is the stalk this part is the stalk by which you hold the flower okay or you can say the stalk is attaching the flower with the stem or the branch then the stalk gets expanded in the form of cup shaped structure holding all the walls of the flower is known as receptacle receptacle is also known as thalamus or torus okay thalamus is the old term so receptacle or torus just like terrace okay so it is the expanded part of the stalk which is holding all the whorls of the flower then the first whorl of the flower is the green colored leaf like structure known as sepal and the whorl of sepal is known as calyx so calyx is the whorl and the unit of calyx is the sepal why it is known as whorl in case of flower because the floral floral structures are arranged in a circular pattern so when the floral structures are arranged in a circular pattern we can say it as whorl so there are four whorls in the flower so first whorl is the calyx and the unit of calyx is the sepal then the second whorl is the corolla and the unit of corolla is petal okay then the third whorl is the stamen uh, we can say it whorl is the gynoecium and the unit of gynoecium is the stamen stamen has two parts that is the anther and the filament the anther will be filled with the pollen sac and the pollen sac is filled with the minute pollen grains which will bear or which will contain the male nuclei inside it and this male nuclei will take part in the process of fertilization last whorl or the fold whorl or the innermost whorl of the flower is the gynoecium and the unit of gynoecium is pistil the pistil has three basic parts that is stigma style and ovary inside the ovary it will have the ovules and ovules will have the female cell or the egg cell or the ovum which will take part in the process of fertilization so on the basis of reproduction these two whorls that is the gynoecium and the endoecium are the essential whorls of the flower whereas these two whorls are the non essential whorls of the flower that is the calyx and corolla which is helping in the process of reproduction okay so that is why it is the non essential whorl of the flower because the basic function of flower is to take part in the process of reproduction in the starting slide only we have seen it is the reproductive part of the plant 
so on the basis of reproduction the walls of the flower is divided into two categories that is essential walls and non essential walls so the gynoecium and the androecium are the essential walls of the flower whereas the calyx and the corolla is the non essential walls of the flower so let's start with the structure location and function of the bisexual flower right now we have seen which type of flower this is a bisexual flower bi it means two so when both the reproductive walls are present then such flower is known as bisexual flower or hermaphrodite flower or complete flower so we have to study in this chapter about a bisexual flower bisexual flower is also known as hermaphrodite flower that is h e r m a p h r o d i t e hermaphrodite flower or in with respect to the reproduction it is a complete flower so bisexual flower or hermaphrodite flower or complete flower don't get confused by the terms so starting with the stalk or pedicel so location of a stalk is what in between the thalamus and the stem or branch the function it will provide the support to the flower as well as it will provide the nourishment or the water minerals and the food will be given to the flower through the pedicel or the stalk certain flowers which is directly attached to the stem or branch such flower is without a pedicel and such flower is known as the sessile flower okay now the next part of the flower is the thalamus or the receptacle or torus we have seen this is the thalamus or the receptacle or the torus okay so it is the cup shaped enlarged structure of the stalk where it is present it is present at the tip of the stalk and the function of it is to hold all the walls of the flower so this is all for today next class we will be continuing with all the four walls of the flower thank you everyone